can zoom in on my face. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I'm Shane Chung from Real Wave Bundaberg and today I've got Jacob Barden from Black Lab Finance Hello. and we're going to talk real estate. Real estate and in particular the uh, the changes for the stamp duty concession that came in on the 9th of June. That's right. Everyone would have heard about or should have heard about. Yeah, well look, one of the things is that what I do find certainly with regards to property inquiry is that buyers often um, don't arm themselves with the information before they start window shopping. So I thought better to bring Jacob in. He's an expert in finance. And certainly for first home buyers, um, there can be a little bit of confusion with regards to first home buyer stamp duty and the concessions that are available. And on the 9th of June, um, there were changes which meant that there was an increase in the concessions. So Jacob, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, the Premier announced on the 9th of June and they've, they've finally updated the calculators after a few weeks, so we've got some numbers to work with, um, that the first home concession was increasing from 500,000 to 700,000, which means no stamp duty um, up to that threshold, and then it tapers off from 700 to 800, so um, good savings there. Um, you've then also got the vacant land yeah. increased as well, um, it went from uh, 250 to 350 um, and then tapers off yeah. um, as well from there. And so that kind of gives people plenty of options because a lot yeah. of people want to build. Yep. Um, so I suppose, how does that help them in terms of their deposit sizes and their finance calculations? Yep. Yeah, so it's freeing up because stamp duty was something you can't finance in to yeah. the loan. So that was cash you had to have. So by rem removing it or decreasing it, um, you then are able to put that money towards your yeah. deposit. Yeah. Um, so that's freeing up anywhere from sort of, it, it taps out at 17,500, um, yeah. 17,350. Um, so that's freeing up that much cash yeah, that's for great. people, which is, which is great. And then obviously the higher you go, the less, but it's, um, it's still money in in the buyer's pockets. That's perfect. Yep. So that should spark a little bit more activity in the market. It should, yeah. That's great. And with regards to the vacant land situation and building homes, how's that kind of going to help? Is that? Um, it, it'll do the same thing. So yeah. that deposit that's required for that mm -hmm. is, is obviously less. So that's more money that can then be put towards deposit for the land or ultimately towards yeah. the build. Yeah. Um, it's the biggest thing with builds is that that could be your sort of slush fund, if you like, for those, those changes along the way, yeah. those sorts of things. Um, but definitely just it, in the whole scheme of things, it just frees up, yeah. frees up cash. All right, perfect. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Probably the only other thing is, um, the, so two things, sorry. So first one is that you, the stamp duty concession can also be bundled. So with your first home guarantee and mm -hmm. your first homeowner's grant. So first homeowner's grant is just for the new builds or heavily renovated, those sorts of things. First home guarantee is reduced deposit. So all those things can be built in together. Mm -hmm. um, and the other one that people may not know about is that with your stamp duty concession, it doesn't discriminate um, against first home buyers and non first home buyers. And what I mean by that is if you're purchasing a property with someone who has owned a property before, the way the government does it is the percentage of ownership is what the concessions worked on. So if it's 50 50, then and it's under the thresholds, then 50% of that would mm. have no stamp duty on it. That's great. That might be clear as mud. So the biggest thing I'd say is get some advice. Ring Jacob. Because there, there are ways there are ways to really save some money on that, but it isn't just for two first home buyers buying together. Yeah. It could be a first home buyer and a non first home buyer and there still is concession. That's great. Really good. Yep. Well look, that's uh, that's what we wanted to discuss today, just to give you a bit of advice with regards to that. As Jacob said, it's always best to speak to someone who's a professional and Jacob's always free to speak to people yep. about finance um but thanks very much no, not a problem at all we'll catch you next time see you later